Okay, so this is a decoy of a red-throated antenager male. It's got a red crown and a red throat, a little bit. It's not a very good decoy, it's very old and we've used it a lot. So it's been attacked many, many times. What happens is that when you combine this with a song playback, a, a male thinks that there's an intruder on its territory and they're very territorial. And so what they do is they rush to find the intruder and attack him to get him off of the territory. And that's how we trick them and we catch them. So we're going to put this very near the, the net. So we have a mist net here and we're going to place him very close to the net so that we lure the male to jump in. And so we need to look for a place that's convenient for us. So maybe we're going to put him right here with his red crest showing as much as possible. It's coming. Look, it's right there, it's coming. Look, both, boof, boof. That's the male and the female, yay! So we've got the male and the female dusky amber. This is... Actually we've got the female and the juvenile male, so... We don't know. They are really pretty birds. They, they are insectivores and they duet back and forth. And so right now we just did a playback of their duet song and both of them came in. They're both in chestnut plumage, which means they're either female or juvenile male. So we usually catch them using mist nets. These are very safe to catch birds. They are very soft. So the birds just get tangled in, in them. Their claws get tangled and that's how we catch birds to bend them. And it's very important to bend them so that way we know individuals from one another and we can study behavior. So I'm curious about the mating behavior of birds. And so for me, it's very important to know who is mated with who and when an individual sings and how much of the time it spends singing and which females might visit that male. So now I'm going to take the second bird out of the net. He's not tangled at all. When they wait in a bag, it's very relaxing for them. And so this is probably a juvenile male. It, it has some chestnut and some black. So it means that it's turning from a juvenile into a male. And so they're singing just as if they were an adult male, but their plumage is still that of a juvenile. And so next year, this time, this bird will be completely gray. And so again, the bird is tangled and we have to untangle the toes and then take it out of the net and take standard measurements like weight, tarsus and wing cord and a little bit of blood. Ooh, he's so pretty! 